2009 NAI Outdoor Track and Field Championships as the SFU Clan try to put their best foot forward and get to the podium. First race of the day for the SFU Clan, Valerie Williams taking the opening leg of the 4x100 meter relay. She was racing in place of Haley Wong who was out with an injury. Jane Chanel finishes things off for the Clan, but they failed to qualify running in a time of 48.58. And on the men's side, it's Jeffrey Thompson, the hometown kid running for the Clan in the 4x100. He would give it to Adam Newton. Newton would give it to Andrew Boss, and Boss hands it to Dennis Nicholas. He comes down the stretch. Unfortunately, the clan did not qualify for the semifinal. Now we swing the baton to the 1500 meters and Heather Mansell, the senior for the clan, taking off, makes her move on the final lap, kicks to the outside. Heather Mansell would finish in second place, easily qualifying for Saturday's final. We move to the preliminary round of the 400 meter dash. Here, Andrew Boss, he would qualify for the next round with a personal best time of 48.37. It's UNRWA time as Tyson gets out to a great start. The freshman from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan would run a personal best time, but unfortunately fails to qualify for the semifinals. Chad Fraser here in the 800 meter preliminary round. In the final lap, Chad moves up to second place. He would qualify for the semifinal with a time of 152.80. Back to the women and Tracy Boss once had a ringtone set to the tune of I'm Bossy by Keyless, but she proves she's no one hit wonder in the 400 meter hurdles, qualifying for the semifinals. Now we roll to the 200 meters where a pair of SFU runners trying to get to the semifinals. However, Jane Channel finishes seventh in her heat, while her teammate Brianne Carter from Edmonton, Alberta finishes fifth in hers. Both failed to qualify for the semis. Now we take a leap over to the long jump pit and Valerie Williams finishing in 24th place for the clan, but the biggest surprise of the day, Priya Iwo Rima. This is her first jump, sets a new personal best on her first attempt of the day, 5.96, good enough to finish in third place overall, taking some inspiration from her former teammate, Canadian champ, Ruki Abdullahi. Back to the track we go in the premier event for the SFU women, the 4x800 meter relay. Brianna Kane gets things off to a good start and a clean handoff to Ali Hudson. Things close on the third exchange, but Helen Cross puts on the afterburners, gets a huge lead, and the closer, Jessica Smith, finishes off the race. The clan qualify for the finals. Switching genders, we go to the men's 4x800 meter relay with Mitchell, the Express Cully, coming down the stretch, gives it to Steven Nickel. Nickel giving it everything he has as he hands it off to Seth Fraser in his final race for the clan. Seth gives it to his cousin, no, his brother, Chad Fraser. Chad, down the stretch, the team would finish seventh, but unfortunately would not qualify for the final. Moving on, we head to the 3,000 meter steeplechase. Emily Pally Broda, the pride of Fort St. John in action for the clan and the Scott McLean fact of the day. Steeplechasers actually have specially ventilated shoes that allow the water to seep out so they don't blister their feet. Pally Broda finishes 10th in her heat, but fails to qualify for the final. Ryan Brockerville also racing the 3,000 meter steeplechase, but this is the men's version. Ryan looking strong all day long in the race as he clears the water pit Ryan showing off his new hairstyle to the cameras as he comes down the final stretch. He pulls up, finishing third, qualifying for the final on Saturday. Post race here with Ryan Brockerville after his steeple chase. Uh, Ryan, you look pretty smooth out there. Can you talk about uh, your race today? Uh, today's race went out uh, a lot faster than I thought it would, actually. I was kind of hoping that uh, I could save the legs a bit for the final. I was anticipating on getting in, but still pretty nervous. So. Just got off the line and let it go, and I was tucked in the back for a bit, and then tried to speed the pack up. But overall, like it went out okay, and I, and I held on. But I was like a bit scared with a couple laps to go. There's a lot of guys there. I was just checking, and but like I said, I'm I'm pleased with where I am right now, and now I'm in the final, and I got a day to recover tomorrow, and should go from there. Uh, you got a day to recover. Uh, what's your strategy, I guess, going into Saturday's final? Well, unlike today, like today I was trying to be conservative and, like I said, like save the legs and see what I, I'm like, just, you know, get a feel for the guys. But on Saturday, it's just go there. Like anything can happen. It's the final and like everyone's going to be going for it. So and I'm going to be going for it too and just chase some guys. And, but I think, I think I'm, in, I'm in best shape of my life right now. So I should be all right. I should be all right. All right. Well, thank you. I wish you the best. Uh, now we're going to send it to Scott McLean. Thanks, Gareth. Here now with Priye Iwarima. After a great competition today, you came third and also achieved a personal best on your first jump. Uh, what was your reaction to getting that jump in? Shock. Because uh, for the whole, like, three seasons or three meets, I've been fouling everything. So I just wanted to step on the board. That was all I was thinking of, step on the board. Now, you have an interesting story. You came, uh, started started coming to practice with uh, Ruki Abdullahi, and then you started jumping. Um, was it over the past year, did you learn a lot from uh, from Ruki that able, that enabled you to, uh, to get this great uh, jump today? Yeah, definitely. Like her drive and just determination, you want to do that too. Like, 
you want to make everyone proud and also make yourself proud. So it just kind of pushes you to do what you can. Uh, congratulations once again. And uh, the rest of Prie's teammates are in action tomorrow and on Saturday with the finals. For the Clan Athletics Network, I'm Scott McLean.